On the sidelines of the Auto Expo reveals at the MG exhibit, we caught up with people from Exicom, one of India's largest providers of EV charging stations, to understand some of the new connected tech that they have been working on. Here you see our home charger. This is supplied with every MG car. We have a three plus years partnership with MG. We are also partnering with Tata Motors, Hyundai and others. We have an 80% share in home charging. Means when you buy the car, a home charger is installed in your home for charging the car, so for total convenience for the car user. With this, we also have our DC chargers, which are for fast charging. Now, along with this charger, we have now started an app to increase the consumer user friendliness for home charging. Today, when you have, as an example, a mobile charger, you connect your mobile phone to the charger, the, chargers, the mobile phone starts charging immediately. But what we have done is we have introduced an app that allows you to control your charging experience. Uh, you can schedule your charging, you can manage your charger, you can start stop remotely, you can uh, see your charging statistics, you can contact us, you can have FAQs, everything in one place which is on your smartphone. We also have connectivity with Alexa, Google Voice Assistant, and also smartwatch integration. So we are trying to make this so seamless that the customer does not think twice before buying an EV and using it as a personal vehicle for his home. As you can see, this is the Spin EV charging app. You click it, this opens up the home screen. As you can see, this is for MG. You can choose to schedule charging time by hours. I want to charge only for two hours. I can schedule how much energy I want to consume. I can do my start stop. I can see my statistics passed and I can other other services like connecting with Alexa, warranty management, etc. So now let's come here. Alexa, open Exicom charger. Welcome to Spin Home Charger, a smart voice assistant to manage your charger. How can I help you? Alexa, start charging. Sorry, I had trouble doing what you asked. Please try again. As you can see, it has started charging. You also caught up with Mr. Anand Nahata, the MD of Exicom, to understand the company's plans for the near future. Take a listen. Anand, hello. Uh, we are here at the Auto Expo and we just uh, happened to uh, you know, bump into each other and also see these uh, Exicom chargers at the MG exhibit and uh, we've seen quite a few of these out on the road as well. We've seen some of them at different uh, car makers, showrooms. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the kind of market penetration that you have right now and uh, you know what are your strategies to expand this charging network of yours? Correct. So uh, as you can see in uh, Auto Expo, uh, electric vehicles is anyways the theme over here and, uh, and, and the same theme is in our country. Uh, today <clears throat> with uh, everyone putting significant investments behind electric vehicles, right? And for uh, vehicles to come on the road, charging infrastructure is very important. And I'm happy to say today, all stakeholders in this ecosystem combined are putting north of five, 600 chargers uh, as part of destination charging network uh, in our country. And the residential charging network is rapidly increasing as more and more people uh, buy these EVs. Uh, as Exicom, we have been uh, pioneers in this industry. We are the first one to, uh, you know, uh, roll out products uh, for the Indian ecosystem. Uh, today, we have more than 60 to 70 percent market share uh, in, in uh, this. We are a product company, technology company, uh, so we don't ourselves put the uh, stations, uh, but we enable companies such as Fortum. Uh, this is our charger, uh, which is, uh, you know, supplied to Fortum and many other companies like this. Uh, we enable them to, uh, you know, uh, have. Uh, uh, value add and cost effective and technologically like best charger to provide these charging services to the consumers. Right, so you're more of a, a hardware provider and it's uh, basically down to the charging network solutions providers to buy them from you and install uh, the network, uh, grow the network. Absolutely, I would say a technology provider, uh, right. which is there is a mix of hardware, software, software right. uh, but our, our uh, job is to enable these businesses Correct. Uh, to provide services to the consumers. Right. And uh, my next question for you would be, uh, you know, uh, we've been seeing a lot of EVs and concepts, uh, not just at the Auto Expo, but on a global scale. And here we are now also talking about the different charging capacities, uh, you know, as the battery technology uh, keeps getting better. Uh, so from an Indian standpoint, uh, you know, uh, we always keep saying that 
first the complaint was about not enough charging stations now the complaint is not enough fast charging stations you know so what are the fast charging capabilities or what's the highest uh, let me put kilowatt uh, wise what's the highest possible capacity that you offer no that's a that's a very uh, good question so uh, again if i split this answer by residential and uh, you know fast chargers in the city so the the mainstream charger for residencies is 7 kilowatt uh, not just because of the car's ability to take uh, 7 kilowatt but uh, most uh, single phase as per regulation in india 7 kilowatt so it's much easier to put a 7 kilowatt charger versus a 22 kilowatt charger but some of the high end cars like if you talk about mercedes bmw volvo audi uh, they are uh, actually putting 22 kilowatt chargers at home right uh, uh, but uh, but on the on the infrastructure side on the city infrastructure side this question is very valid uh, and in fact uh, we have all been proven wrong in terms of how fast the technology has evolved uh, i personally used to think 3 years ago 30 kilowatt fast charging would is good enough uh, but that's history now today the norm uh, of fast charging in india Uh, for majority of the cars is 60 kilowatt True. but the global trend and even in india the trend is moving towards 120 to 150 kilowatt Correct. that's the uh, you know kilowatt that all the cars can uh, take Correct. if you talk about buses uh, all fast charging of buses has been standardized at 240 kilowatt in india by standardized i mean most of the players are on uh, that rating but we right. see that very quickly moving to 360 kilowatt right. so really a big evolution in the last 3 uh, years in terms of charging speeds right So, what is the maximum that you are offering at the moment for the Indian? Uh... We we offer the full range, uh, right from the slowest charger, which is 3.3 kilowatt, uh, to a super fast charger, 360 kilowatt, uh, and everything in between. Uh, we we offer the whole range. Right. and as you rightly mentioned you know uh, the adoption of evs has been much quicker than what all of us thought you know from the supplier side or as well as uh, the consumer side uh, so where do you see the market heading now i mean what versus what you uh, saw 3 years back what is now your estimate for the next 3 years so i, I don't know about the estimate but uh, generally like the the you know my answer to this question always is 2 years ago if you asked anyone when would india be producing a million passenger ev cars uh, annually let's say right the answer could be like was anywhere between 2030 to 2040 uh, right 2035 to 2040 but now i think there's a fair bit of industry consensus that will be producing like a million ev cars uh, you know uh, by 2027 so uh, i think uh, that's that's possibly where i see the market but we have always we have been proving proven wrong Uh, in terms of the pace of evolution so i really hope this time also we are proven wrong and the pace is much faster much faster right yeah. so before we end i'm just going to ask you two final questions one is what is your personal car uh, is it an ev and if yes which is the one and what's your favorite ev at the auto expo here so my personal ev car is it's it's, it's an ev it's bmw ix oh uh, lovely they, Gave a charger uh, from Germany, which I replaced with my own charger. Oh, lovely! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, so that, that's perfect uh, product placement. I, I love I that say. car. I, you know, with I used to have a favorite IC car, but with EV, everything is new and everything is so exciting. True. So it's not right for me to pick a favorite, and uh, I have tons of favorite here. So yeah, you know, uh, because I think with EV, everyone wants something different, and that's what the companies have really. Uh, uh, that is what even know, they are trying uh, to provide. You're absolutely and, right. So yeah, we love uh, everything. Great, fair enough. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Anand, and uh, we hope to see you again. And we hope to see more of these uh, Exicom chargers out on the road. Perfect. No, absolutely. Pleasure talking to you. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye.